In today's intricate web of financial regulations and legal requirements, the role of a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration COFA, stands as a beacon of integrity within the UK legal sector. But what exactly is the Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration COFA, and what are the regulations they need to follow? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration, COFA, who can be appointed as a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration in the UK, and what is COFA's Code of Conduct. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video, where we bring you AML-related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is the role of a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration? The Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration, COFA, plays a crucial role within the legal firms in the United Kingdom, particularly in ensuring adherence to regulatory standards and ethical practices. Established as part of the regulatory framework introduced by the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, SRA, the COFA position holds a significant responsibility in safeguarding the integrity of financial and administrative operations within the law firm. Who can be appointed as a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration in the UK? According to the SRA regulations, the COFA must be a manager or employee of the firm, with the necessary competence and authority to fulfil the role effectively. They should possess the requisite knowledge of financial and administrative processes within the legal sector, and demonstrate a commitment to upholding compliance standards. The COFA can be a solicitor, legal executive or any other individual employed within the firm who meets the criteria specified by the SRA. While legal expertise is beneficial, candidates for the COFA role should also possess strong financial acumen, analytical skills and a thorough understanding of the regulatory requirements. What are the Compliance Officers for Finance and Administration COFA key responsibilities? The primary responsibility of the COFA revolves around overseeing compliance in financial and administrative matters within a legal firm. This encompasses a wide array of duties, including but not limited to Regulatory Compliance the COFA is tasked with ensuring that the firm operates in accordance with the regulatory requirements set forth by the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, SRA, and other relevant regulatory bodies. This involves staying abreast of any changes or updates to regulatory standards and implementing necessary procedures to ensure compliance. Risk Management Identifying and mitigating risks associated with financial and administrative processes is a key aspect of the COFA's role. This includes assessing potential risks such as money laundering, fraud or conflicts of interests and implementing measures to address and minimise these risks effectively. Financial management Overseeing financial matters within the firm, including budgeting, financial reporting and accounting practices, falls under the purview of the COFA. They are responsible for ensuring the accuracy and transparency of financial records and adherence to best practices in financial management. Policies and procedures Developing and implementing policies and procedures relating to financial and administrative activities is another essential aspect of the COFA's role. This involves establishing protocols for billing, client funds management, expense reimbursement, 
and other financial transactions to ensure compliance and efficiency. Training and education. The COFA is often responsible for providing training and guidance to staff members on matters relating to financial and administrative compliance. This may include conducting training sessions, disseminating information on regulatory requirements, and promoting a culture of compliance within the firm. And reporting and monitoring. Regular monitoring and reporting on compliance activities are integral to the COFA's role. This includes conducting internal audits, reviewing financial reports, and preparing reports for regulatory authorities as required. What are the codes of conduct for compliance officers for finance and administration in the UK? Firms and individuals. In the United Kingdom, the Solicitors Regulation Authority, SRA, sets out the codes of conduct and regulations that compliance officers for finance and administration, COFFERS, both as individuals and within firms, must adhere to. These codes and regulations are designed to ensure the highest standards of integrity, professionalism and compliance within the legal sector. Here are the key codes of conduct for COFFERS. Codes of conduct for COFA individuals. Competence. COFFERS must maintain the necessary competence and skills to fulfil their role effectively. This includes staying informed about regulatory requirements, financial best practices and changes in relevant legislation. Integrity. Coffers are expected to act with honesty, integrity and ethical behaviour at all times. They must uphold the trust and confidence placed in them by clients, colleagues and regulatory authorities. Confidentiality. Coffers must respect client confidentiality and ensure the protection of sensitive information obtained in the course of their duties. They should have robust systems in place to safeguard client data and prevent unauthorised disclosure. Independence Coffers should exercise independence in their decision making and avoid conflicts of interest that may compromise their impartiality or integrity. They must act in the best interests of the firm and its clients, free from undue influence. Professional conduct. Coffers must adhere to the SRA's principles and code of conduct, which set out the standards of behaviour expected of legal professionals. This includes treating clients and colleagues with respect, acting fairly and honestly, and upholding the rule of law. Reporting obligations. Coffers have the duty to report any breaches of regulatory requirements, financial irregularities or misconduct within the firm promptly. They should ensure that appropriate remedial actions are taken to address any issues identified. Codes of conduct for coffer firms. Systems and controls. Firms must establish robust systems and controls to ensure compliance within the SRA account rules and other regulatory requirements. This includes maintaining accurate accounting records, segregating client funds and conducting regular reconciliations. Risk management. Firms should implement effective risk management procedures to identify, assess and mitigate risks related to financial and administrative operations. This may involve conducting risk assessments, implementing internal controls and monitoring compliance with regulatory obligations. Training and supervision. Firms must provide appropriate training and supervision to coffers and staff members involved in financial and administrative functions. This ensures that employees have the necessary skills and knowledge to comply with regulatory requirements and adhere to best practices. Compliance monitoring. 
Firms should conduct regulatory compliance monitoring activities to ensure that financial and administrative processes are conducted in accordance with regulatory requirements. This may involve internal audits, reviews of financial records and ongoing assessments of compliance risks. And cooperation with regulatory authorities. Firms have a duty to cooperate fully with regulatory authorities, including the SRA, and provide timely and accurate information as required. This includes responding promptly to requests for information, cooperating with investigations, and implementing any remedial actions recommended by the regulator. By adhering to these codes of conduct, both coffers as individuals and firms can maintain the high standards of professionalism, integrity and compliance within the legal sector in the UK. Assessing risk as a compliance officer for finance and administration, COFA. As a compliance officer for finance and administration, Assessing risk is a fundamental aspect of your role in ensuring regulatory compliance and financial integrity within your organisation. Here is a comprehensive guide to how coffers can effectively assess risk. Understand regulatory requirements. Familiarise yourself with relevant regulatory frameworks, such as the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, SRA, Accounts Rules and other applicable regulations. Stay updated on changes and updates to regulations to ensure compliance. Identifying risks. Conduct regular risk assessments across financial and administrative processes within the firm. Identify potential risks associated with client money handling, financial transactions, record keeping and administrative functions. Consider both internal and external factors that could pose risk to the firm's compliance and financial stability. Evaluate risks. Assess the likelihood and potential impact of identified risks on the firm's operations, reputation and regulatory compliance. Prioritise risk based on the severity and the level of impact they could have on the firm. Consider the effectiveness of existing controls in mitigating identified risks. Implement controls. Develop and implement controls and procedures to mitigate identified risks effectively. Ensure that controls are proportionate to the level of risk and aligned with the regulatory requirements. Establish clear policies and guidelines for financial transactions client money handling, and administrative processes. Monitor and review. Continuously monitor the effectiveness of implemented controls in mitigating risks. Conduct regular reviews and audits to identify any new risks or changes in existing risks. Stay vigilant for emerging risks and adapt controls accordingly to address evolving threats. Reporting. Report significant risks and compliance issues to senior management and relevant stakeholders. Provide timely and accurate information to regulatory authorities as required. Ensure that appropriate remedial actions are taken to address identified risks and compliant breaches. Training and awareness. Provide training and awareness programmes to staff members on risk management and compliance related matters. Foster a culture of risk awareness and compliance throughout the organisation. Encourage open communication and reporting of potential risks of compliance issues by staff members. External engagement. Engage with external stakeholders such as auditors, regulators and industry experts to stay informed about emerging risks and best practices. Participate in industry forums and discussions to gain insights into current trends and developments in compliance and risk management. By following these steps, 
Coffers can effectively assess risk, mitigate compliance-related challenges, and uphold the highest standards of financial integrity within their organisation. Through proactive risk management, coffers play a crucial role in safeguarding the firm's reputation, protecting client interests, and ensuring regulatory compliance. What ways can a compliance officer for finance and administration, COFA, protect themselves? As a compliance officer for finance and administration, COFA in the UK, ensuring regulatory compliance and safeguarding against risk is paramount. Here are several ways COFAs can protect themselves while fulfilling their duties. Stay informed and educated. Keep abreast of changes in relevant laws, regulations and best practices. Regularly attend training sessions, workshops and seminars to stay informed about emerging risks and compliance requirements. Establish robust policies and procedures. Develop and implement comprehensive policies and procedures governing financial and administrative practices within the firm. Ensure that these policies are regularly reviewed, updated and communicated to relevant stakeholders. Conduct risk assessments. Perform regulatory risk assessments to identify potential threats and vulnerabilities within financial and administrative processes. Prioritise risk based on their likelihood and potential impact and develop mitigation strategies accordingly. Implement internal controls. Establish internal controls to mitigate identified risks and prevent unauthorised activities. This may include segregation of duties, dual authorisation requirements for financial transactions and regular reconciliation of accounts. Ensure adequate training and supervision. Provide staff members with the necessary training and supervision to perform their roles effectively and comply with regulatory requirements. Monitor staff performance and conduct regular reviews to identify any training needs or compliance gaps. Promote a culture of compliance. Foster a culture of compliance within a firm by promoting ethical behaviour, integrity and accountability at all levels. Encourage open communication and provide channels for employees to report concerns or suspected misconduct confidentially. Maintain accurate record keeping. Ensure that accurate and up-to-date financial records are maintained in accordance with regulatory requirements. Implement systems and procedures for record keeping, data retention and document management to facilitate compliance and facilitate audits or regulatory inquiries. Monitor and audit compliance. Implement regular monitoring and auditing processes to assess compliance with internal policies and external regulations. Conduct internal audits or engage external auditors to review financial and administrative practices and identify areas for improvement. Establish reporting mechanisms. Implement clear reporting mechanisms for staff to report suspected violations of policies or regulations. Encourage employees to raise concerns promptly and ensure that reports are investigated thoroughly and addressed appropriately. Seek legal and professional advice. When in doubt about compliance matters or facing complex issues, seek guidance from legal counsel or professional advisors with expertise in regulatory compliance and financial administration. By adopting these proactive measures, coffers can mitigate risk, protect themselves and uphold the highest standards of regulatory compliance and financial integrity within their organisation. Well, there you have it. What is a Compliance Officer for Finance and Administration, COFA? 
who can be appointed as a compliance officer for finance and administration in the UK, and what is COFA's code of conduct. Please tell us in the comments section if you think compliance officers for finance and administration play a crucial role within an organisation, and any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own fully accredited courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as introduction to AML, beneficial ownership and customer risk rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video and if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.